I'm a fish farmer. This will be heartbreaking waking up to your pond and encountering this massive loss. The money spent in feeding, the money spent in getting the juvenile. The loss is massive for a fish farmer and no one wants this. Hello and welcome to the Ken Chutes Farm Services. In this video, we are going to be looking at why quality water parameters in your farm. Now, why do you have to observe the quality water parameters in your farm as a fish farmer? Now, what are the impacts that uh, dirty water, contaminated water has to, to do with your fish and the fish growth? We have different uh, water quality parameters in the fish farm, ranging from the temperature, to the pH, to the dissolved oxygen, to the nitrates, to the nitrites. So and these parameters have their own effect on how the fish grow. Now, what are the water parameters and how do they affect the fish? Quality water parameters is essential for your fish growth. Now, you want the fish to grow, you want them to do well, you want, as we are talking, the juvenile, the fingerlings, you want them at four months, you are expected to do the harvest. We've had some uh, series of uh, farmers that complain, oh, I bought this juvenile from this farm, I bought this fingerlings from this farm. Three months, four months, they've not um, grown, they, they are struggling to grow, they have a stunted growth, and the complaint has been, okay, the farmer sold me a wrong fish, or the farmer sold me a stunted fish. Now, the issue might not just be from the farmer. The issue might arise from you in your farm, because one, when the farm was being set up, you didn't do what was necessary at that moment, like testing the water. So for you starting a fish farm, it's essential you run a water test for your farm. Now you take this um, water, you take it to a certified lab, and they run the different water parameters essential for the fish growth. Now we have the temperature, we have the pH, we have the DO, which is called the dissolved oxygen. We have the nitrates, we have the nitrites. So these are parameters, the ammonia, these are different water parameters that should be in their acceptable level before your fish will do the way. Now, when the pH value is high, let's say it's very acidic, you are having around two, you are having around three, you are having around four, it's very acidic. It will affect the growth of the fish. Definitely you come and you notice high mortality, especially when they are small. And this effect happens more for those that we call the breeders, those that run the hatchery. You notice that your fish are dropping. You notice that you do, you do the hashing and the fish are turning white. Now it's not, it's not a result of you not doing it well. It's a result of you not testing the water. The water has not been tested. So the water might be acidic and it will affect their growth. Now if the level of the pH is around 8 points, 9 points, 10 points, means that the, the, it's basic. And at that stage, it will affect how they grow. They might not die, but won't grow. You feed them with the quality feed, the Coupin, the Ziegler, for their growth rate to be stunted. So that's how the effect of pH to them. We also have the effect of nitrates and nitrites on the fish growth. The nitrate and nitrite affect the fish. You start noticing mortalities for them. Your dissolved oxygen can also kill them. That's why most people they work with aerators in their farms to increase the oxygen level in the farm. So every farmer is essential to do this test. And it's easy. Now, there are methods to run this test in an easy way as a fish farmer. In the Nigeria, we have people that stay in the upland, we have people that stay close to the river line, and you understand that the water parameter changes per time. So you say, okay, I did a test four years ago, and you're still banking on the result after four years. The water parameters have changed. Your pH might be okay within the acceptable limits of the 6.5 to the 9 to the 7.5. But after, maybe, after a year or so, you start noticing that ah, the pH level can adjust. So you need to do a check and a recheck of the pond. So we have the easy um, test kit here, easy to use test kit, that can test the different water parameters for you easily in your farm. Now, this one takes the pH, it takes the water hardness, it takes the total chlorine, it takes the free chlorine, the nitrate, the nitrite, and the total alkalinity. So it's an easy to use um, tool. So once you get this, you just um, you open the container. You can see it's sealed. Then after you open the container, then you 
we have we have the stripe inside. So now these stripes will do the check for you. So each of these containers contains hundred of these. So as you can see, we have over fifteen pounds here. So if you want to do the test, you can run the test for the different pounds instead of doing it uh, for just one pond, you do for pond one, pond two, pond three, and all the 15 pond is being done. And also you go to the source of your water and also run the test in the source of the water. Why are you doing this? Now, pond A might have all the parameters okay, why pond B is not having it? So you must understand, is it the, the size of the fish I have? Do they produce nitrate level higher in that pond? Am I overstocking? So it helps you to check and balance what you are doing in the farm. So the easy to um, use the test strip means once you get this, you dip it in the pond you want to check, in the pond you want to check. So once you've done the dipping, now we allow the dipping to stay for just a minute inside the pond. Now after that is done, you can see here we have a chart in the body of this. So you take the strip that you've and put in your pond, you flap it, then you take it to the chart and you observe the readings that you have in the chart to be sure that the level you are getting are within the acceptable limit that you are checking. So you can see our pH here from the color is around 6.8, which is correct. So it means we're using this MT, you check down our water here, the pH is okay. So you can do this test for all your pond and you are sure that okay they are within the acceptable limits and your fishes will not die of mortality so there's a number on the screen you can contact to get the easy to use test kits it can be sent to you anywhere within the nigeria 